Hey guys, it's Protendo, and I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm tired of thinking that I know what Masahiro Sakurai is planning next, only to be duped time and time again. I mean, of course Nintendo would wait until the very moment I remove Pyro from my fighter's past prediction to add her to the game, because why would they want me to be right? I know that Doug Bowser is sitting in his office plotting the company's next way to ensure my failure. But I've had enough. So much so that I've thought of a plan. See, after doing the math, I realize that there's a finite number of video game characters out there. So, logically speaking, if I just keep predicting characters, I'll eventually be right, right? Well, that's the plan. So here we go, 100 character predictions for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, let's get started. Number 1, Frisk. You guys know that Frisk is my main man, or main genderless child rather. They've gotta be first. 2. Crash Bandicoot Crash and Smash is my safest Nintendo prediction of the generation, along with Super Mario Odyssey 2. I'll be shocked if either of those don't happen. 3. Doom Guy A popular request and Doom's on the Switch. 4. Astro A cute little Sony mascot. They're probably not gonna cooperate, but it's nice to imagine. Waluigi It's Waluigi. Cinderace I don't want this. Rillaboom, or this. Inteleon, or even this. Octoling, hey, Splatoon 3 is a thing now. Lloyd Irving, Namco is co-developing Ultimate and still hasn't gotten a character? It's a little strange. Rayman, Ubisoft is one of the last big names in gaming who hasn't received a rep yet. Tom Nook, this isn't gonna happen, but it would be really funny. Dr. Eggman, Sonic needs this. Arl. Toad. He seems like an obvious choice. Captain Toad. He seems like a slightly less obvious choice. Ryu Hayabusa. We've got two Roys, who's to say two Ryus are out of the question? Porky. Just throw mother fans a bone. Jonesy. <laughs> Chun-Li. Tetramino. The second biggest video game of all time has zero representation in Smash. Bandana Waddle D. Please. Papyrus. He's no Frisk, but I'll take anyone. Scorpion. Urbosa. Give us those Zelda reps. Sackboy. I like him. Tracer. Jabanyan. Monokuma. Ma Ma Monokuma? I think that's how you pronounce it. Shovel Knight. It'd be nice to see him get another chance. Professor E. Gad. The most underrated Mario character right next to Fawful. Phoenix Wright. Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Shantae. Paper Mario. That's easy promotion for the Origami King. Spyro. The Knight. I need to actually play Hollow Knight one of these days. Chrono. Maxwell. Freddy Fazbear. I wouldn't even be upset about Freddy being the first indie rep because it would be too funny. Ring Fit Adventurer. Easy promotion. 2B. Laura Croft. She's a major gaming icon. It makes sense. Udin? U Udin? The, the guy from that Nintendo mobile game that I know nothing about? Mifa. Megalore. Would probably have a better moveset than Bandana D if we're being honest. Cub Fu. Or this. Ratchet and Clank. Madeline. Everyone play Celeste right now, please. And at number 50, Sora. Whew, okay. Halfway breather. I mean, I've probably predicted at least one of them by now, right? Please? <sighs> okay, back into the fray. 51, Daruk. He's my favorite champion because I love Gorons. He'd be great to see. 52, Tails. Everyone wants Eggman, but I think I'd actually prefer seeing Sonic's player too. It'd be a little strange to get Bowser before Luigi, no? Kratos. This won't happen. Agumon. Cooking Cryptocurrency Mama. KK Slider. Solaire. The Prince. Wonder Red. Remember when everyone helped get Wonderful 101 on Switch and then no one talked about it ever again? That's tough. Remu. Chell. Hat Kid. Skull Kid, her brother. Gordon Freeman. I've had to do this take four times solely because I keep reading it as Morgan Freeman. The Goose. As far as indie reps go, this one would be pretty cool. 
Ori. This one would probably be better, I'd know, if I had played Ori. I need to get on that. Rivali. Toxtricity. Not this either. Pauline. Maybe for some Odyssey 2 marketing? Eh? Red from Angry Birds. Barry would be my preferred mobile game pick, but this works too. Soul Bad Guy. I I'm, I'm assuming that's pronounced as it looks. Professor Layton. Cat. Neku. Metal Sonic. CJ from GTA, not from Animal Crossing. Heavy. Maybe I'm uncultured, but I had never heard of Team Fortress 2 or any of its characters until Smash Speculation. Impa. She's probably the most logical Zelda rep considering her presence in multiple games. The Penguin from Club Penguin. Amat Am Amaterasu. Am Amaterasu. Just pretend I said it correctly. 8-Bit Mario. This is the kind of dumb character I actually see Nintendo doing. Like, imagine it now. It's E3 this year and suddenly Doug Bowser's like, we've decided to celebrate Mario's 35th in a truly special way, and this is what they show. He's only available for two days. Balloon Fighter, the only retro rep I want. Bereka from Ninjala. Rick, Kine, and Koo. Dixie Kong, there's no such thing as too much Donkey Kong representation. Gex. Masahiro Sakurai himself. Sandbag. King Boo. Promo for Luigi's Mansion 3, but on top of that, I think King Boo could have a really interesting playstyle. Pea Shooter. Master Hand. Crazy Hand. This hand from the Breath of the Wild trailer. We all know it's going to be important. Urshifu. Definitely not this. Conquer. Ai from Super Monkey Ball. Gooey, the discount Dragon Quest slime himself. The Imposter. Yeah, yeah, the DLC was already decided upon before the game rose to popularity, but come on, I had to put it in there. Taboo. I still vouch for the idea that he makes the most sense out of any original Smash Bros. character. And finally, number 100, Master Chief. Do I think he's gonna happen? No. I think two Microsoft characters in a single pass is asking for a little too much. But if anyone can cause Twitter to crash like Steve did, it'd be him. I'm kidding, of course, no one can match Steve. And there you have it, 100 Smash Ultimate characters predicted. There's definitely someone who slipped through the cracks and Nintendo will pull them out of obscurity just to prove me wrong, but at least now, I've put up a fight. And from a serious standpoint, if you want to know my legitimate character predictions for the end of the Fighters Pass and Smash Ultimate's DLC in general, they were the two at the beginning of this video. With that all said and done, I'll be on my way to get Pyra and Mithra into Elite Smash before people figure out how to use them. I'll see you guys later. Protendo, out.